Hello lovelies, today is World Book Day and I really want to read a portion of my book to inspire you. And I'm actually reading the story of Wiyala, the Lioness of Africa. She's a Ghanaian musician and an international icon, of course. So I will be reading her story to you today and I hope you find inspiration in her story. Reading actually does a lot of good to us. So much good that you can't just underestimate helps us reduce stress, it actually improves our vocabulary, it expands our knowledge, it adds a lot of value to our lives. That is why I'll be reading this particular book to you today. You are unstoppable, reach your goals in spite of obstacles. That is the book I have written. Um, I think I published the book in 2019 and you can have copies to buy. When you go on Amazon, I'm going to put a link in the description. So please do check it out and get a copy for yourself. I hope that as we mark World Book Day, you will develop the habit of buying and reading people's books because it helps you learn from other people's experience and stories. So let's go into the reading. <laughs> Wiyala, the Lioness of Africa. I was faced with many hurdles as a child. Some of them were as a result of my father being married to three women and having many children. We being girls, we were not valued and hence no seriousness was attached to our education. My family faced many financial challenges and even shelter on our heads was at times very challenging. I was shut down by many relatives including my parents and was told, children don't speak when adults speak. This led me to develop resistance, which made many people in my family call me names. Some even thought I was a witch as they were thinking, only a witch could be that resistant to the authorities of adults. That's horrible, right? <laughs> but let's see how far she has come. As a teenager, I started facing the issues of bullying as many people were thinking I was not feminine enough. There were countless occasions where my mother was asked if I was a girl or a boy. Most people didn't accept me as I was and I couldn't make friends as well because I was always the odd one out. Regardless of all these challenges, I was persistent and determined to have a better life. I did well through junior high and senior high school and got admitted into a polytechnic. Sadly, I had to drop out of school after the first few semesters due to financial challenges. I couldn't pay my fees. With these challenges hindering my education, I decided to explore my talent to make a career out of it. I decided to step out and do what I love, which is dancing and singing. I know Riella loves dancing, she loves singing. <laughs> and I love her voice so badly. I performed at various shows in my small community of Tumu in the Upper West region of Ghana. My first performance was a dance competition. When I registered, I didn't have any costume to wear. I had to borrow my elder sister's oversized sneakers. <laughs> I made my own dress from pieces of cloth and made a belt out of my mother's tablecloth. Amazingly, I came out as the best dancer and winner of that competition. Wow! With regular and frequent performances, I began to attract people and friends. One day, a group of friends recommended that I try Stars of the Future, which was a music reality TV show. I watched the show and instantly developed a strong desire to participate in it. I remembered how I used to stand in front of the mirror pretending I was receiving an award as a musician. <laughs> with my little savings at hand, I set off to Accra with optimism to audition and win the show. In spite of all my practice and preparation, I auditioned and I was given a big no. I was so hurt but not discouraged. I chose to try the second time and it was still no. With a relentless spirit, I tried the third time at Stars of the Future and this time around, it was a yes. I don't know how many times you've tried, but definitely, we all had to try several times. So don't give up on the first try. I was super excited and couldn't wait to take the stage, except that the show was abruptly called off. Wow, at this point, I began to wonder if I was cursed. 
Then I heard about Vodafone Icons, another music TV reality show. I went there as well with the hope of making it true. Unfortunately, I was still giving a big no. Luckily, Stars of the Future sorted out their issues and called us to return to the competition in 2011. I was in at last. That was where my breakthrough began. I managed to make it through to second runner-up. In 2012, I prepared well and after a series of training and performance sections, I won as Vodafone Icons and got two cars and a recording contract as a prize. I now have many songs and a very good manager who has been very supportive of my career and is always pushing for my success. I have traveled around the world performing on great platforms I never imagined. I have won several awards including African Music Award, Ghana Music Award, Song Writer of the Year, Best Vocalist of the Year and Glitz Style Awards, Best Individual Style Awards. My region has recognized my efforts by awarding me with the Youth Achievement Awards as a music ambassador. My community had also awarded me with Sisala Prestigious Award and had named a street after me. You see the great things happening after all the you know struggles she has to go through and the spirit of relentlessness. I just love that. I am sharing my story in Rita's book, You Are Unstoppable. Reach your goals in spite of obstacles because I am the epitome of this statement. <laughs> I rose from nothing except a dream and inspiration from listening and watching Madonna on a video in the village to become the lioness of Africa. You too can rise from whichever location you are. No matter how hidden wherever you're coming from is, you can rise from every, you know, crannies of the world to become the greatest star. This is just my beginning. I will keep going higher until I am no more and even that my legacy would live on. After all the above accomplishments, I still feel a boundless energy and strong belief that there is so much more to accomplish. Wow, I love this. <laughs> if from nothing I am here today, then what excuse do you have for giving up for just one try? That's the question to you. <laughs> this was possible because I believed in myself, my talent, and didn't allow anyone to limit me. My advice to you is, you are the only one who knows what you have inside of you, your talent and abilities. All you need to do is make a move. Don't sit and watch things happen. Even if you are from a rich home, take a step into greatness with optimism. I love this. You have to stand and fight for yourself. And when you go wrong, accept your mistakes, learn from them, seek knowledge and soar higher. I love this. <laughs> Don't allow people to intimidate you. Don't let the no bring down your spirit. Always rise above people's thoughts about you. Believing in yourself works the magic. Don't look too far for what you want. Look inside you anytime you are faced with hardships and challenges. You have all it takes to birth the star inside of you. Believe you are unstoppable and you reach your goals in spite of all obstacles. Oh my goodness, this is so fabulous. I have just read the story of Wiala, the Lioness of Africa, which is found in my book, You Are Unstoppable, Reach Your Goals in Spite of Obstacles. If you have been out there struggling, worried, stressed out, and feeling all sort of things, I am just here to inspire you today, after reading this book, I hope that you have heard something that would really, really, really inspire you to get out there and make the best out of your life. Thank you so much for watching. And hey, if you are new here, please subscribe to my channel and also give this video a thumbs up. Share this video to inspire someone to develop the attitude of reading. And as I said, reading does a lot of good to us. Reading improves focus and concentration. It also improves your writing skills because the more you read from other people, you see and learn how they use words. It improves our memory. It also helps us develop good critical thinking skills. And I bet you, when you read other people's stories, it helps you know that you are not 
alone. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!